one is even shinier than the last one! <laughs> Your looks kinda cute with those stars. Even a crow wouldn't get this distracted by looking at jewelry. But it's not my fault they're shiny! <sighs> I guess I should just leave her be. Come on, she's probably part raccoon. I mean, come on, raccoons are attracted to shiny stuff. Like, ooh, shiny! Ah, uh, look! Look! I'm looking, but all I see is shiny metal. But it's shiny! Mira points in to a necklace that looks the same as every other one. Don't take this the wrong way, but do all girls act like this around jewelry? Nope. Not me. Uh-uh. Unless they look very pretty. But if it's like diamond rings, earrings, plain necklaces. Nope. Nuh uh. Not remotely interested. They have to be pretty dang colorful and pretty unique in order to get my attention. Well, most would use a wider variety of adjectives. But, but come on, don't any of them look pretty to you? I'm sure your aesthetic sense isn't that underdeveloped. Try as I might, all, all I'm seeing is a collection of stones. But if I imagine her wearing one of them... Oh boy. Thinking about something dirty? Nope! Nuh-uh! Nope! That is not in my mind whatsoever. What are you talking about, Mira? What makes you think that? Okay, fine. But it's nothing that bad. I was just imagining you wearing one of these. That's all. Oh. I didn't think you'd actually say it. Don't really seem that spineless. Yeah, you do. Sorta. That's not always true. You, you look cute with one of these. Uh, hey! Uh, hey, what's with the sun confidence boost? That shouldn't be a bad thing. Come on! I need some confidence here! No, it's fine. It's just... Uh, never mind. She isn't the only one who's blushing. Um, did you want to try it on? Ooh, you sure? Well, why not? Not, not that I can afford something like this, but... <laughs> Thanks. I'll give it a try. So, what do you think? Mira pull, pulls on a simple but elegant necklace, posing like a model. Hmm, maybe this one... Oh, hey, wrong person again! I got to read the names! Hmm, maybe this one would be better. This time she tries a less formal design. I know we agreed not to talk about price, but the more I look at it, the more it hurts me to know that in a few minutes you won't be wearing it anymore. Or, I mean, because you look so happy trying it on, I don't want... <laughs> Thanks. She stops me from stuttering. Thank God! For what it's worth, it really does look good on you. She does a little twirl in place. I like it. My mom has a similar one stored away. She says she wore it a lot in college. It's subtle, but it looks good. You know, in a non-elegant sort of way. <laughs> kind of stylishly plain, with an air of childishness? <laughs> that sounded... That sounded way better in my head. I think I know what you're trying to say. Oh, thank God! Good, because I barely know what I was trying to say. <laughs> I know what I me I know that I meant it, though. It's fancy, but not too fin fancy. And it has a feminine appeal that suits you. Um, you think I have a feminine appeal? No, not that! I, I reply automatically. I I mean, the necklace is feminine and... 
So you don't think I have a feminine appeal? Stop twisting my words! You're fucking you're gonna make me dig a hole! No, it's not that either, but... Hmm? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Ugh, let's go! In a hurried and ineffective attempt to escape my embarrassment, I grab her hand and pull her outside. Just where do you think... Just where do you plan on going, Mr. Stylish, stylishly Plain? Somewhere where I don't have to suffer this kind of abuse! <laughs> Sorry about all that. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I wish I could have bought it for you, but... Forget it. Window shopping is a better date activity than, than regular shopping anyway. I mean, it's... She's interrupted by a growl of a stomach. By the growl of a stomach. Hers, to be precise. I wonder what that could mean. I think it was a train. Nope, it was a, it was a itty bitty belly of yours. It's a cute cute. I don't know why the heck I did that. <laughs> Then he gets get some num nums. Okay, fine. You win. Can we eat? Only if you really want to. <sighs> Especially since you sound. It sounds like you can't wait any longer. Mm. I guess she can't argue when she knows I'm paying. Hold on, let me try that again. I guess she can't argue when she knows I'm paying. Time flew by quickly after that. I try not to think too hard about what that meant. That we are being led toward. What we are being led toward. But I failed. Obviously. I'm tired. We've been on our feet for most of the day. Want to go somewhere to rest? Yeah, I think so. There's a nice city park somewhere around here. Come on, let's go sit down. Hmm. Like, mm-hmm. <sighs> it's a nice evening. <laughs> You're right. We sit side by side on a freezing cold bench, the sunset poking at my peripheral vision. Dot, dot, dot. The air is heavy. Heavier even than in my dreams. Nira's hand rests on the bench, an inch from mine. Her fingers twitch from time to time, but they don't reach out. Neither do mine. There's no turning back from here, is there? There's no turning back from when we... from... <clears throat> There's no turning back from the moment we met. Well, either way, it's certainly too late now. I pause before every sentence. I have to push the words out. Memories don't vanish, you know. They fade, but they don't vanish. They're a weight. They aren't always a weight. I know. They're they're not all bad. But you can't get rid of them, good or bad. They end up in the same place. What do you think happens when you take a good memory of someone and turn it into something bad? What do you think is going to be left over? I'm sorry to have dragged you into this, Mark. It's not your fault. You can't even begin to imagine. I glance at her, at her, sun in her hair. You remember, right? You remember when I asked you to stay with me until you, you regained your memories? Yeah. She smiles vaguely at the distance. I hadn't thought what that would entail. I hadn't thought of anything. I'm sorry. I've been selfish. I shouldn't have made you think about her. No, don't say that. How can you- how can I not say that? I, I didn't tell you anything. I dragged you around, played with your head. You put up with me even though I'm a, I'm a stranger to you. 
I'm like a stranger to you. If you call yourself a stranger, I'd hate to see what you'd call my classmates. What? I mean... You can't just decide by yourself that your actions are, were selfish. There are two parts to that judgment, right? If the person you're being selfish toward doesn't think you're being selfish, then... But... What I mean is, you're not a stranger to me. That isn't your decision to make. Don't call yourself a stranger. You're not kidding? Of course not. I mean, come on, do you really think I'd be here if I didn't care about you? I woke up at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Seriously. Do you not get the gravity of the time for which I woke up? That's... Rennes surges through Mira's cheeks. You're important to me. So it goes without saying that it hurt me if you left. I'm sorry. You don't have to- I'm sorry! She hides behind her hands. I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All I wanted was something simple. Something simple? Something so- so simple, but I- Her hair covers her face, and I feel a faint- trembling through the air you're being too hard on yourself i told you you didn't hurt me but no buts it doesn't matter i made a mistake mark i told you it's it's not all right her trembling body comes to a halt you're a good person just like i remember you're a good person but i tell me then Tell me why you came here. I just wanted to see if my scars were gone. You were the girl that rejected Mark. And you were hoping that he'd forgotten your buff. A sharp wind whistles through the empty park. And did you find your answer? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. It's cold. Her hand is cold in mine, but it'll warm in time. It's getting dark. The clouds are beginning to gather behind the sun's trail. Looks like we're in for a white Christmas. You're right. It'll be midnight soon. Let's go. Uh, ah! Let's go. It's the night of the 24th. People must be all over the city square by now. Are you implying what I think you're implying? I'm implying that I'm going to hate myself if we don't do this properly. You're not the only one. She grabs my hand and falls along. It's beautiful. There's something odd about going on a date with an, with an inevitable tragedy hanging above you. Every time I catch my breath, I feel a sinking feeling in my chest as I remember that this isn't just another day. The trick I've realized is not to give yourself the time to catch your breath. Ah! The trick I've realized is to not give yourself time to catch your breath. You've never been here before? Only a couple times during the day. I was always home with my parents on Christmas Eve. Well, it probably wouldn't surprise you to know that this is my first time too. That's a little comforting. It sure is crowded, isn't it? I think it's good. I think it's the good kind of crowded. It's hard to imagine what I've been missing out on. <laughs> it's hard to imagine that I've been missing out on this for my entire life. 
It's not too late for us to start. Your hand is warm. Yeah, so is yours. Actually, your hand is cold. You aren't really... You really aren't built for winter, are you? <laughs> that was a poorly timed joke. <laughs> Truth be told, the softness of her fingers and warmth of her palm is enough to drive away the winter wind. The December wind. But I don't think I can say that out loud. <laughs> 